Hey guys, it's the Econ Blue here. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 powerful ways to use ChatGPT AI to improve your marketing and basically to run your entire e-commerce store. We'll go from impressive to truly mind-blowing. These examples will help you get the most out of this amazing technology. So let's get started in three, two, one. Yeah. All right, so let's start with number one, make a marketing plan for your store. So let's ask in the chat, Make me a marketing plan to promote my clothing brand. I make gym shirts that give motivation to work out. Let's send it. Here is a potential marketing plan for your clothing brand. Let's see what the bot says. So first, identify your target audience. Who are the people most likely to be interested in your gym shirts and the motivational messages they provide? Are they primarily fitness enthusiasts, athletes, or perhaps people who are starting to work on their fitness goals? So it understands that a clothing brand for fitness is extremely broad. So it tells me to identify my target audience and get to my niche, which are what? Enthusiasts, athletes, maybe people that just start working out because it's advising me to create marketing messages that resonate with them. Very good first step. And it goes on and on telling you exactly what you need to do to get started. You can pause the video and look at the entire answer, but let's just look at the step number four. Utilize hashtags and influencer marketing to further extend your reach and attract new followers. And that brings us to number two, use it to recruit talent. Okay, bot, write me a sales pitch to recruit influencers and brand ambassadors for my clothing brand called Omega Burn. I will give 10% commissions per refer sale and free products in exchange for promotion on the influencers' social media. We make gym shirts that have a motivational message that only reveals when you sweat. Let's see what it tells me. This is just amazing. Hi there, are you a fitness enthusiast looking to share your passion with your followers and make some extra income? Look no further, Omega Burn is the perfect fit for you. It tells what the brand is. As a brand ambassador for Omega Burn, you'll have the opportunity to earn 10% commission on every refer sale and receive free products in exchange for promoting a brand on your social media channels. Great. And there you have it, that's your sales pitch. But this bot actually remembers the conversation and can adapt. So I'm gonna tell him, make it shorter to send in a DM. Let's see what it says. Hi there, want to earn some extra income and promote a unique fitness brand? Join the Omega Burn team as a brand ambassador and earn 10% commission on refer sales plus free products. DM us to learn more and sign up. Okay, that's valid. Especially for me, that English is not my first language, <laughs> this helps me so much. Example number three, use it as your lawyer or your attorney. Let's continue from the previous conversation. Write me a contract to send to the influencers when they sign up. And here is my contract, very well written, looks like I actually paid for it. But no, it was just this bot. If you are getting impressed by this, well, let me tell you that this is just the most basic things that you can do here. Wait till you see the very last examples. But for now, let's go to example number four. Write an email template to send to customers when their order is delayed. Dear value customer, we regret to inform you that your recent order will be delayed. Our team is working hard to ensure that your order is shipped as soon as possible. Blah, 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 blah. We apologize for any inconvenience. If you have any questions or concerns, contact us. All right, so that's our template every time we mess up and we delay our shipments. I will show you how to access this tool in a little bit, but first let's watch a couple more examples to get you hyped up. Example number five, use it to make excuses for you. Once again, we're going to continue from the previous conversation because this template is a little bland for my taste and customers need always a reason. So we're gonna tell him, make up an excuse and include it in the template. Dear value customer, okay, we regret to inform you, the reason for the delay is that our warehouse experienced a power outage earlier this week, which has disrupted our shipping schedule. <laughs> we apologize for the inconvenience, this is gold. Okay, just for fun, let me tell it to make up another excuse, make up a different excuse. The reason for the delay is that we have recently experienced a high volume of orders and as a result, our warehouse is currently backlogged. We apologize. All right, so now you have two excuses for two times that you mess up. And I'm sure that you can keep telling him to make up excuses for you. You know, it's a pretty good liar. 
Alright, so so far we have been using this bot for mundane activities, just improving our quality of life when it comes to, you know, managing and handling an e-commerce store, dealing with customers and stuff like that. But what if we use it for marketing? I recently started a new company and I want this bot to write me a blog post that tells people why they should buy my product and also I want it to compare it with another product and whatever it pulls out I'm actually gonna use it in real life and I'm gonna put it in my blog and to give you a little bit of context the new company is about DTF transfers direct to film people that want to start their clothing brand they can buy my transfers and they can apply them on hats shirts whatever products they want and the alternative is to go with a print on demand company that they will take care of printing the products and shipping it to the customer but you lose the quality control you cannot choose any kind of products to put it on you lose touch with your customers because you cannot make your own custom packaging and also it's a lot cheaper to use my transfers and do it yourself rather than send it to a print on demand website so you get a much better profit margin. So let's see if this bot can encompass all of that in one blog post. Make a blog post explaining why direct to film transfers are a better option than print on demand when trying to start a clothing brand. Also say that DTF Llama can take care of all your custom transfer needs. If you're looking to start your clothing brand, you may be wondering which type of transfer method to use for your designs. In this blog post, we'll explain why DTF transfers are a better option than print on demand and how DTF Llama can help you with all your custom transfer needs. The lead proceeds to tell you what DTF transfers are, then also what print on demand is. And then it tells you several reasons why DTF transfers are superior to print on demand like better print quality, more durable, more versatile. DTF transfers can be applied to a wide range of fabrics, including cotton, polyester, and even performance wear. It almost said everything that I wanted it to say, and I only put two sentences here. But it didn't talk about the price, and also it didn't say anything about how you get more in touch with your customers when you make their packages with their thank you notes and all of that. Talk about the price benefit of DTF transfers and also that you have control over the quality of the final product. So it proceeds to talk about the price benefit, telling them that they can get a higher profit margin, and also another advantage is that you have more control over how you ship your products with print on demand services you have to use their packaging and shipping methods, which can limit your branding opportunities. And now we're getting to the super fun and mind-blowing stuff, because so far it has been just doing text for us, you know, making content. And you can imagine the possibilities with this. You can make your ad copy, prepare thank you notes for your customers, write mission statements. You can even ask him to make you a script for a video for TikTok to promote your product. But this is nothing compared to the real power that I see with this. So let's go with number seven. Use it as your own personal accountant. Hey bot, make me a wholesale price table with quantity breaks. Offer a higher discount the more they buy with a regular price of $24.95 for one shirt, right? And quantity breaks are five, 10, 25, 50, and 100. Let's see what it pulls out. All right, so if they order five, they will get them for $22 at a 10% discount, 50 at $16 for a 40% discount. It is a little hard to read, so put it in a table. Ah, much easier to read now, but add a column with the total order price. And there you go, the whole table with everything. Thank you, bot. But that is nothing compared to example number eight. Use it as your own programmer. All right, bot, I want you to write me an HTML code that calculates the amount of time that it will take to produce an order so that the customer knows when to pick it up. Each order can contain multiple pieces and it takes 15 minutes to produce each piece. All right, so it's making the, the layout of the website. It's adding some script in here. And then it also explains it to you. This code creates an HTML page with a form that allows the user to enter the number of pieces in their order. All right, so how do we check this? Very simple. Let's just copy this code. Then we're gonna open Notepad and we're gonna paste this code. Now we're gonna file 
save as, and we're gonna save it as timecalculator.html. So let's test it out. Order production time calculator. Enter the number of pieces in your order. All right, so I'm gonna buy 20 pieces. Calculate production time. It will take 300 minutes to produce your order. All right, not bad, right? It actually wrote the entire code for me. So to access this tool, you're gonna go to chat.openai.com slash chat and you will be able to access the initial research preview, which is free to use. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna be available for free, but I will keep the description of the video updated. Now, let's continue watching more examples. Number nine, enhance your code. So we're gonna go back to the same chat and we're gonna say, make it look prettier with some styling. And right now you can see how it's applying some CSS right there, you see? And of course it explained you kind of like what it did but we're gonna copy this code and we're gonna test it out so let's open notepad one more time and we're gonna delete the previous code and paste the new one file save it's already saved as an html so now we open it and boom or the <laughs> now it has some nice formatting calculate 90 minutes okay but look at the text in this button it's too big so you better fix that. Make the text of the button smaller. Come on, bot. All right, so let's just test this script again. And there you go. Now the size of the text is a little smaller. And that leaves us with the last example. Use it as Google. So basically ask any questions that you have. And keep in mind that this doesn't have access to internet and all the data that he has is from before 2021. But still, you can ask him direct questions and get direct answers. For example, how do I add an announcement bar on my Shopify store that says free shipping? And this is something that I will normally go to Google and start researching on how to do it or go to YouTube, watch a few videos until I find. But look, this guy just gave me exact instructions on how to do it. And I noticed that when it tells you something and it doesn't work, you tell him that it doesn't work and it will fix it. It will just show you another way of doing it. So above all, I am extremely impressed with this new technology. And I think this is gonna revolutionize the entire world because this is still a beta. And I thought that we were 15 years away from something like this, but no, it is now. Imagine in one or two years when this actually launches, how it's gonna change the way that we do everything in this world. Now, let me tell you a few limitations that I found. I asked him to build me an app that will do specific things. And it started right in the app but up to a point, it stopped. And then I told him, hey, the code is not complete. So he said, sorry, let me try it again. And he started doing it again, and it stopped kind of like at the same place, a little bit before actually. So I did a little bit of troubleshooting, and it seems like they have limited, you know, the length of the responses and the kind of information that it will give you because it's still a beta. Now, there are still a lot of ways that this technology can help you run your e-commerce business. And if you would like me to make a second part of this video with more examples, give me a like and drop me a comment so I know that this is something that you wanna watch. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm out.